Hey there guys. It's been one or two of those weeks where like I haven't had the, I don't know, inclination or energy to, to look at my to-do list too much. Um, so like I haven't been using my bullet journal on the weekends. I never put the header in for last Friday. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, but I'm still plugging away and it's all, it's all okay. Um, most of the things I have to do are small, so it shouldn't be, take me too long to catch up. But um, today's video is another one of those sort of follow-ups um, from what I learned back in September. Uh, this one is what elements of the Getting Things Done system that I have incorporated into my planner since I read the book in September. Um, it's, I was going to do like a review of the book and a review of the system as a whole, but I, um, I don't really use it like exactly as it says in the book. So I don't feel right about like judging or <laughs> reviewing the system because, um, you know, I'm not using it exactly by the book, so it wouldn't be quite fair. But um, I am incorporating some of the ideas from the book, Getting Things Done by David Allen um, and sort of his process of handling inputs and, and to do's um, and uh, sort of taking some inspiration in my setup for my bullet journal. So I wanted to kind of go over that with you um, and uh, maybe a little bit of how that's changed since I first started using it until now a month and a half later. So um, we'll start the first thing that um, the Getting Things Done system talks about is having an inbox. And that is uh, basically like I, I have a box here in my desk and it's always a mess. So I'm not very good at emptying it out. So it's probably not a very good inbox, but I do have a place where I put my physical things that need doing. Um, and then like tasks and things that come up, those are here on sort of my notes page, brain dump page. Um, I don't use this as often as I should. And I actually still have some stuff I need to, um, what's it like, process from this brain dump, but that's where that goes. Um, having the place is good. I don't know if it matters that I don't use it as much as I foresaw myself using it. Um, I think really it's one of those things that you need to have as much as you need it. Um, I also sort of brain dump or mind sweep throughout the day, either just on like my weekly task list. Um, if I think of something that I need to get done that week and it's only one thing, I'll probably just pop it on here. Or if I'm at work and I don't have my planner out, I might write it on a sticky note. Like yesterday, I had a whole sticky note full of some scribbles and things. And instead of putting those in the notes section and then migrating them, I just put them straight where they belonged, whether that was in my calendar or on my weekly or sort of on this page that I have for upcoming weeks to do lists uh, or on a daily or, you know, the someday maybe list which, I, uh, yeah, we'll talk about the Someday Maybe list next. That is right here. So this is sort of a list of things that I might like to do someday. Um, and I have this sort of set up. My checklist here tells me how often to check in. This tape, this is a side note, this tape from Target. It's a Scotch brand decorative tape. They sell at Target and it sticks really bad to the opposing page. So just know that. Anyway. Uh, this is the checklist, which is not part of the getting things done thing, but I n felt like I needed uh, a place where I could remember which, where I had left things and how often I needed to go back for them. So there's like a couple things I have to check every day. I check in on these with my weekly planning because I usually sit down with my planner like in serious mode, uh, at least once a week to make out this weekly task list, um, my video production schedule and my uh, weekly What's it? I need to fill that up for yesterday. My weekly tracker. Uh, and yeah, I do a couple things here and then I do a couple things every month. And one of those things is checking my someday maybe list. So, you know, come the, the beginning of the next month, I'll look at, you know, all of the things that I have already on my calendar or on my, you know, upcoming to-do lists and I'll decide how free the month feels. And if I feel like I need something else to work on as a project, then maybe I'll come here and say, huh, Maybe I should work on this, you know, repair for my computer, or maybe I should, you know, take up a, a new hobby, something that's on this list. Um, and I don't know, I think it's, it's helpful to have because otherwise it's stuff that I would either have on a list staring me in the face going, why haven't you started this yet? You want to do it. Why aren't you doing it yet? It's sort of a, an intermediate place. Like I might, it's, it's not just someday, it's maybe like 
this is stuff that I might be interested in doing, but I don't have to feel guilty if I decide to cross it off or just never touch it because it's not priority, you know? It's good. It's good to have this. Um, I recommend having just, you know, a page where you can throw things so that you don't have to worry about them, but you also don't have to worry about losing them. Um, this waiting on list does not get used that often. I probably should use it more. Uh, sometimes I don't think of it. And then sometimes the tasks seem too small to put here and so I don't. And sometimes I think I just forget this page is here. But what this waiting on list is uh, for is for um, when you've asked somebody to do something, when you've delegated a task or when you've sent a letter and you're waiting for a reply, basically anything that you can't, any project you can't work on the next step until someone else does a step. That project goes here and then you don't have to worry about losing it and I check in with this every week as well. Um, so yeah, it's good to have this. I don't know if it matters to use it. It's kind of personal preference, I guess. I guess I don't use it as much as maybe I should or maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know, that's up to you, I guess. Uh, one of the big parts of getting things done is having a projects list. And I find that um, I'm using like a whole insert here for projects and uh, I'm using the index of that notebook as the projects list and so then my notation here I've put drawn some columns in I put a dot when it's sort of in the works if it doesn't have a dot yet that means I haven't started it yet so it's kind of like an intermediate someday maybe list um, basically when I'm looking at my week I can say oh I maybe I have time to do that I'll add that to my to-do list the things with stars are things that I'm currently working on actively. Um, and then because I use my erasable pen, I can just get rid of the star and cross something out once I've done it. So I have a general projects list and then I have my YouTube ideas list. And then this is MH stuff and craft projects and those are kind of cramped. So I'm not sure, like I think I like the idea of having it separate um, or like categorized, but I also definitely didn't give myself enough room. So I think whenever I move out of this into a new notebook, uh, I will, I'm thinking of either having a separate notebook that's only for YouTube videos, because I feel like that might encourage me to make an outline for a video before I make it, instead of just trying to freeball it. Um, because that does happen sometimes that like I feel uh, unprepared because I didn't want to waste a piece of paper prepping for a video. But if I have a whole notebook that's just dedicated to that, then there's no excuse. Um, but also, yeah, I'll definitely set aside extra room for my categories, or maybe make the categories bigger. Uh, we'll see. Um, and then, yeah, I just have like, the rest of the book is filled up with just, you know, little bits of notes and things um, that I'm working on for various projects, videos. Um, there's a video that was just last week. This one was the week before. And then, uh, yeah, it works really well. I, I like having a dedicated place to have those project notes. And then of course the um, index tells me, you know, what page I'm looking for. And then I also have sort of a little bit of a column here to say like what when it's due, um, which I'm not using for all of these because a lot of them don't matter. But I am putting like the date, like uh, here, G GTD review, page 22. Um, and then November 16th is the date that this is going out. So there you go. And then I guess the last thing that David Allen talks about is using your calendar wisely, like not putting all of your tasks there, um, only things that are kind of scheduled. Eh, I guess I do that. Um, I try to keep it, I mean, it's a little bit busy in here. I try to keep it um, business only. Uh, where basically I, tr I try also to like go in and check this calendar every day so that I know what I need to get done and what's coming up that day because otherwise I'll miss it. Um, basically all of my events are on the calendar and not on my weekly. My weekly is for tasks, my calendar is for events, but I also will cut put a couple of events here if it's something that I know I need to get done um, on a specific day. So like um, change sheets. That's something we do like once a month and so I put that on a particular day. And so yeah, that's how I use that. Um, 
that's sort of tangential to the system, but I thought I would mention it. Um, and that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a, um, I don't know. I remember my planner funk video from a few weeks ago where I was like two on top of things. Well, this is the one where I uh, am sort of not on top of things and sort of not touching uh, my planner for like an entire day. And then here like Tuesday, my first to-do list is that stuff because I didn't get anything done from Monday. But you know what I'm gonna say, right? That's what the bullet journal system's for. It's for, you know, finding, uh, or for using what you have, the resources you have, and not getting down on yourself uh, when things get a little bit busy because you can just skip the whole weekend in here and pick up the next day with your next to-do list and no space has been wasted. Everything uh, can just pick up where it left off and uh, keep everything organized. So that's all I had to share with you today. I hope you guys are having a lovely November and I will see you guys for the next video on Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. See you then, bye.